Welcome to week three of med our meditation series. Let me share my screen with you. Our week three is acceptance with Tara Brock's RAIN theory. That's what we're gonna start out with this week. As you know, I belong to the village in Howard, which is a 55 and older community, people who are living in place. And these are activities of the week. Noticing the IP in-person activities are in green and the virtual activities are in blue. Is it a sign of our time right now, our COVID world? Notice, in our, notice our in-person ones, meandering, lunch bunches, mahjong, and sneakers walking outside. But our inside virtual activities, like our meetings, fundraising and volunteer meetings, our meditations, our discussion groups of My Three Cents, bridge book clubs, and dinner clubs are all on Zoom. So maybe this is a time that we really can use Tara Brock's radical acceptance. So what is her theory, radical acceptance theory? It's an acronym and standing for recognize, accept, I for investigate and N for nurture. When we do our meditations, you'll see that. And by the way, thank you very much for registering on the calendar each week, appreciate it. So welcome and take a deep breath in and out and smile as Thich Nhat Hanh says. Our joke of the week. So we exercise because zombies will eat the slow ones first. That's happening very soon with Halloween, correct? So be aware. And our other one, since I'm having a cataract operation this week, Good morning, pupils. Good morning, Miss Iris. You'll never see a cornier joke than this. And I, I had to put this one too. What do you mean you forgot where you parked? Which might happen to a lot of us because we're not mindful, right? And she says to her husband, you're shopping online. Which reminds me, I just found out that we're on amazon.smile.com. So if you'd like to support the village of Howard, sign up for that when you order your Amazon uh, materials. So that would be very helpful. Thank you. Today, as I said, we're taking a journey with Tara Brock. We'll have an intro, we'll have a rain meditation, some music, some silence and a wrap up. You know, I like people I can have comfortable silences with, and I appreciate that you are all here now to do that. If you haven't heard of Tara Brock, she's the following. She is an American psychologist and author, a proponent of Buddhist meditation. She's the founder of Insight Meditation here in DC, and she teaches virtually on Wednesdays in Bethesda with Jack Cornfield, Sharon Salzberg, and others at 7.30. She also teaches in California, has her degree from my cousin's university, Clark University, in psychology, a political uh, science BA, and a clinical psychology degree at Fielding Graduate University. So let's see what she says. Her quote is, the intimacy that arises in listening and speaking truth is only possible if we can open to the vulnerability of our own hearts. Reading in, contacting the life that is right here is our first step. Once we have held ourselves with kindness, we can touch others in a vital and healing way. So again, her radical acceptance theory, you first recognize what's going on, allow it to be, investigate it and nurture it. Well, I think we can all agree 
<laughs> we have all been going through difficult times and she's going to share how we can navigate through these difficult times with a gentle awareness and just, just sit with the feeling. Allow yourself to feel and breathe with it. Get to know it, go beneath it. And if you have feelings like the sad or angry feelings, that can happen simultaneously. Like you can notice the beauty of trees and the glimpse of green and the beauty of a child's laughter and bring them all together. Let's see further what that means. So it's kind of a change in thinking, right? The nature of life is change. Yet the human nature of human beings is to resist change. And how ironic that the difficult times we fear might ruin us are the very ones that can break us and open and help us blossom into who we were meant to be. The nature of life is change. Difficult times are the very ones that can break us open and help us blossom into who we were meant to be. So since we're on video right now, I want you to think of where rain concept can be helpful to you, or has it been helpful to you this year? Knowing where you recognized what was going on and aware of it and investigated it and how it turned positive for you and nurtured it. So if you wanted to turn off the machine for a little bit, you can do that and think. But now I want you to take those three mindful breaths, breathing in with those thoughts, breathing out, breathing in sensations and out and emotions from moment to moment, non-judgmental. our walk. Let's take our hearts for a walk in the woods and listen to the magic whispers of old trees. And just follow your breath. Close your eyes, follow your breath to the still place that leads to the invisible path that leads you home. Sister Teresa of Avila. Breathe for the joy to be steady and calm. Breathe for your sorrow to flow away. Breathe to renew every cell of your blood. Breathe to renew the depth of consciousness. Breathe and dwell in the here and now. Breathe and all you touch is new and real. Let's begin our practice. Settle your body into a comfortable position, breathing those three mindful breaths in, 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 release your shoulders away from your ears, unclench your jaw, Drop the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And let's explore light rain for difficult times. R for recognize what is happening, which is the roots of understanding. A is for allow life to be just as it is 
which is the grounds of love. I investigate with gentle attention, which deepens understanding. And N, nurture, which awakens love. As you are sitting comfortably, find a position that makes you at ease, but alert. You might close your eyes, scanning and sensing your life and what you might need to give attention to. Maybe when you turned against yourself, somewhere you might be judging or blaming yourself or somewhere you've been having a hard time. Wherever you're feeling, you've been having a hard time or something you are anticipating, go into what, what's been disturbing you or what's going to go wrong. With the R, light mindfulness recognizes what is predominant. Not to add any blame or judgment, fear, anxiety, anger, or irritation. Just let it be. Recognize and have a mental whisper of what the name is what you are aware of right now. R, recognize. Let's move on to A. Just allow it to be here. Let it take some courage. Just pause with it like a wave in the ocean, not trying to fix it. Just ignore it. Allow it to be. Let's move on to I, investigating into the body check, your throat, your chest, belly. Gently put your hand wherever you feel the most emotion. Let the touch help you to breathe and be with what is just here. You might sense what you are believing what's going to go wrong, or maybe what is wrong with you, but just do your body check, I investigating, throat, chest, belly. Deepen your attention to where the belief lives in your body. Often it lives in the throat, chest, or belly. And again, it takes courage, but to directly contact that because it is a vulnerable place inside you that you are willing to pay attention to right now. The feeling of failure or perhaps the fear of isolation, sadness, anger, 
you might sense the most vulnerable part of this experience where the vulnerability is strongest. Where is it most strongest? Asking what does this place need? What is the flavor of nurturing that it needs? N, nurturing. This is the time for acceptance, forgiveness, understanding, love, passionate embrace or belonging. Sense the witness right now of that most compassionate place in your being and how that awakens your heart right now in that place of kindness, of vulnerability. Your touch now really is to be tender and it means care. Let there be a message to this place that you can trust this goodness that truly is okay. You know, see if you can let in that nurturing. That sometimes is the most challenging of all. Just sense that love, light, warmth. Perhaps it's coming from your own awake heart, or sometimes it's easier to sense the message of love coming from beings that you trust, other spiritual healers a teacher, a grandmother, a therapist, friends. That's okay. Just let it in. And then taking some moments to sense the presence that it is right here. To notice the shift, whether it is small or large, from the sense of self when you started it. The failing self or anxious self to some more degree presence and compassion for the heart space that is here and know that this opening into hard space is more the truth of who you are. Let that knowing deepen the trust in your basic goodness. And now let's have a little relaxing music to contemplate rain.
gently start moving your body a little. Bring your attention to your fingers. Start moving them slowly, body part by body part, slowly coming out of meditation. Breathe in for yourself. Breathe out for the world. Breathe in compassion. Breathe out joy. Take a full breath in and a long, deep breath out. Thank you for sharing Tara Brock's radical acceptance with us. Next week, we have Songs of the Soul with Rumi and Ro. And remember, you're releasing activities that make you happy to find more peace, joy, space, and love. Namaste. Thank you for coming this week. See you next week. <laughs>